Um, yeah, we are obviously very disappointed about the fact that the, our application has been dismissed. Um, we think that the court had not a proper um, and full understanding of our matter. Um, the court has said in the brief uh, scanning through the judgment that we did not put the entire consultation process and all of those minutes which we did request from the SABC and they never provided to us. We did not put that before the court and we think that on the basis that the court did not have that particular record of the of the consultation process that um, that it came to the to the finding that it did. We are going to study the judgment in depth. Um, we may decide to take this matter on appeal um, and then uh, from decide what we're going to do further. This is not the end of the road for SABC employees. Um, this is only in terms of the process that has been followed. We, in any event, um, have got what we wanted, um, and that is further consultation, which is currently busy happening. Uh, we wanted those dismissal letters to be withdrawn. We think that um, it is incorrect in law where there was an implementation before the consultation process was exhausted that, uh, that those implementations has not been reversed. So once we are not satisfied with the outcome of this process, in other words, if any people will lose their jobs and we are not satisfied with how the process has proceeded and there are no reasons in our view for those dismissals, we will most certainly be back in the Labour Court and we will again be here to protect uh, employees' rights and fight for fairness and justice. So what does this mean for the 400 uh, workers at the SABC who have received those retrenchment uh, letters? Does this mean that the SABC can now continue uh, with the retrenchment process or is that still um, right now on a halt? Well, according to the SABC, those letters um, or those um, dismissals has been suspended. That was exactly one of the complaints that we had, was that um, you cannot simply suspend those letters and not uh, reverse what you've implemented as uh, is required by the law. So for, for them, as, as it has been suspended, it means that it will not have no effect at this point in time. Uh, but as I said, at the end of that process, we hope that we can persuade the SABC otherwise to not proceed in dismissing those particular employees and we are going to do our best in, in this process and this is only now that the SABC has started to properly consult where staff input are being taken into consideration and they are they're having an, an, an opportunity to make input. When it comes to your appeal, you say that you will study the judgment in depth and um, you might even take up with this option of appealing. What will that appeal entail? Well, we, we're of the view that the judge has uh, has not had a proper understanding of our case, um, that um, our case should have uh, not been dismissed. Um, we are of the view that it is technically incorrect in law when there is an admission on the side of the SABC or there was no denial on their side that um, they have not consulted on those issues of selection criteria. So technically, the, the ruling should have been that the SABC must undo what they have implemented. So in, in terms thereof, we are going to study that, uh, the, the judgment and we will then uh, decide whether we are going to, to appeal this particular uh, ruling of, of the Labour Court or whether we are simply going to then, we are in any event going to proceed with the consultation process. But if we want to seek to um, have those letters uh, being um, reversed. And how is that consultation process right now with the SABC? I know that before you complained saying that there was no consultation, uh, before um, uh, these uh, retrenchment letters were given to their staff, how has the SABC been right now in terms of uh, consulting with you um, during this process? The SABC has only now started to properly consult on structures. They, um, we had the first session yesterday. Staff were uh, able to raise their concerns. Staff were able to give their input. In fact, there was an agreement that staff will uh, be given, we will be given an opportunity to make submissions on those uh, questions that has been raised and the proposals that has been put forward 
in, in yesterday's consultation meeting. There's been three other ones scheduled for today. We are satisfied at this point in time on how that consultation process is going ahead. This is what we have been asking um, all along from the beginning. And we think that it, it, it was utter bad faith on the side of the SABC. Every time that we enroll the application, they extend. They say they're going to consult um, and then staff are, are issued with termination letters when we re-enroll the matter suddenly there comes a letter that says we are going to um, uh, extend or we are going to um, postpone these uh, 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 termination letters and consultation so um, we are happy at this point in time on how it's going to proceed whether the SABC is going to take um, our input and members input and staff input series that needs to be seen okay. and with Sorry, I was just saying that uh, can do you see retrenchments being averted at the stage at the SABC at all? If we are looking at you know the situation the way it is, is there a way that we can actually avoid retrenchments? Because we heard from the arguments last week, the SABC's legal representative saying that even if this uh, suspension process, which is taking a month in terms of consult consultation, is lifted at the end of uh, December we are likely to see retrenchments. Those who have been issued with letters still will be issued, may be issued with letters. So uh, is, is it avoidable at all? If the process is going to be a consensus-seeking process and it is going to be an honest and sincere process, we believe that we would be able to uh, avoid uh, dismissals or retrenchments at the SABC. Maybe not uh, everyone, but at least a, a, a great deal of st staff. Uh, we, we could um, avoid that and, and not have those people uh, retrenched. And, and we hope that that would be the aim at the end of the day, that there are other solutions other than just cutting people's heads at the SABC. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, uh, Very disappointed, Hannes Dubuson there of Bemawu, following that uh, uh, result from the courts, uh, saying this is not the end of the matter. They're still unhappy with the SABC's implementation of a process before it has been thoroughly exhausted. I imagine the conversation will continue having throughout the day.